What's up, movie crew? Welcome to the latest Let's Watch. Before I get started, if you're new to this channel, my name is Luke, this is Let's Watch a Movie, and if you're in anything cinema and physical media related, you've come to the right place, so hit that subscribe button. Today, I am seeing The Nun 2. All right, I am going to be honest with everyone. Wasn't a huge fan of the first movie. And I know someone that got to see an advanced screening of it and did not like this one. I am not sure how I'm going to feel about seeing this movie. But it is a part of the Conjuring universe. I do love the Conjuring universe. Pin comment down below for the ranking for anyone that would like to see my thoughts on what I think is the worst and best of the franchise. But that's enough talk. I'm going to go back to the movies, check out The Nun 2, and then I will be back and give you my thoughts on the movie. All right, so I have just gotten out of seeing The Nun 2. I want to apologize if I'm a little bit louder than usual. It started raining where I'm at, and it's loud. So, my overall thoughts are, this movie's okay. Um, I want to point out, I did like The Curse of Ladrona, the first movie that Michael Chavez has done, and the first of, like, the connected movies he's done with The Conjuring Universe. But... I will say there are parts of this movie that have shown that he has improved as a director. And this movie is a step up from the first one. But I'm not sure why exactly James Wan thought that this was the best director to replace Corin Hardy. Because a lot of the parts of this movie that I liked the most were not the horror elements. So, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the first Numb, but this one does follow the love interest of a character from the first movie. And... The stuff showing that these two characters love each other was good. Some of the dramatic elements leading up to the jump scares, not bad. The actual scares themselves were predictable. The subplot of this movie, it's like, we're supposed to put the dots together and it's like, they're already put together. And I don't think that Michael Chavez is questioning my intelligence but it's like we know what's going to happen at point B so why are you treating the in between like we don't know what's going to happen I wasn't feeling that and One of the biggest disappointments for me was they cast Storm Reed. Uh, for those that don't know, she was in a movie at the beginning of the year, Missing, and she plays Zendaya's younger sister in Euphoria. So someone that is, you know, on the up and up. So I thought that she was going to have a decent sized role in this movie. And if they took her role out, it wouldn't have mattered. That's not a way to treat an actress that is on the up and up like that. And I know I sound like I am hating on this movie. And like I said, it is definitely better than the first Nun. But there's a lot of things about the stuff I don't like about the movie outweigh the stuff I liked about the movie. And spoiler alert for those that are unaware, 
Just when I thought it was over and done with and I can get up, saw the person that was a couple seats beside me was like, hey, there's a post credit scene. That's all I got to say on that. We did not need that post credit scene. If you've seen all of the Conjuring movies, yes, it's a fun little scene. I don't know if it's building up to anything because the only movies currently in the works don't have release dates to my knowledge. <sighs> Final score, I'm giving The Nun 2 a 2.5 two out of 5. This movie could have been a lot better than it was and I feel like James Wan is giving too much trust to someone who is still learning. James Wan, if you ever watch this, give Michael Chavez, uh, let him do what David Sandberg did with Lights Out. Let him make a horror film that is just for the sake of being a horror film. But that's going to do it for this one. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. You like what you see, leave a thumbs up, comment down below. Did you like The Nun 2? And if you saw my ranking review, or my ranking of The Conjuring Universe, pin comment down below if you've missed it. Where would you put The Nun 2 in your ranking of The Conjuring Universe? But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and tune in next time.